One to Ferris State basketball coverage here from courtside. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you, joined by the head coach of the Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorf, 90 to 38 the final. And coach got to be pleased with the way your team got off to a great start and uh, was able to get this win here tonight. Yeah, it was nice that we were kind of put a big emphasis in that first quarter. We really wanted to start hot, but it's great that we were able to put it, stay focused for all 40 minutes. You know, when we get off to some of these runs, I feel like we haven't put together full games, and this was about as close to a full 40 minutes that we put together. Obviously, I uh, got off to a great start in that first quarter. 29 to 13, some keys uh, really establishing the tempo in your favor early on. Yeah, I thought we did a nice job, especially when we were able to get stops and able to turn them over a little bit. We were able to turn it into a little bit of a transition game early. And then when they went zone, we moved the ball really well and knocked down a couple shots and kind of kind of separated us a little bit. But so it was, it was a great job of getting the tempo where we wanted. Like you and I talked about in our pregame a little bit, we got up and down the court, 29 points in the quarter. That, that's getting it done. All right, so I'm really, really proud with how we started off that game. Obviously, I uh, got some great contributions up and down the lineup. It seems like like uh, the last couple ball games, anyone that comes out there really gives you a great contribution. Yeah, tonight was great for us to get some confidence back for some of these players. You know, we had a little bit of a, a lull as far as like our bench scoring went for the last couple weeks, but the last couple games we've done a nice job of moving the ball. It's nice to see Sammy knock down some shots. Good to see Shauna give us some defensive energy. Maya's been kind of doing what she's been doing, all right, kind of riding that freshman wave that she's on. Amaka's giving us a little bit of energy minutes. Grace Sullivan working her butt off in the defensive end and moving the ball. You know, I don't know if I'm missing anybody that, that was kind of getting in there. And Ellie Dykstra is just Ellie Dykstra. You know, I think that's all of our bench players. And, you know, she's just so solid. It's like she's a six starter, you know, when she gets out there. So we really did a nice job of getting a lot of contributions, not just offensively, but defensively as well tonight. The, our bench did a really good job on the defensive end. Talk about uh, offensively sharing the basketball. 31 assists uh, here tonight, led by Mallory McCarty with 10 here in the ballgame. Yeah, 31 assists on 35 made shots. I don't have our school record book in front of us, but I got to think that 31 is going to be pretty close. I don't know if that's the school record, but it's got to be at least a top five performance. So it was a great job of sharing the basketball. It just kind of proves that when this team really clicks in with each other and they're connected and the ball moves, you know, we're a really dangerous team. You know, so only four of those shots are unassisted. And I, I dare bet a couple of those were offensive rebound putbacks that there's no chance for to be an assist. So really pleased with the way we moved the basketball. How important was it to get off to that uh, fantastic start early on? Uh, I guess a team that hadn't played in a month and really uh, kind of take uh, the confidence out of them early on. Yeah, Lake State's in a tough spot. So I, I, I kind of feel for them with where they're at. You know, I don't know what it would be like for us for not having played a game in over a whole calendar month. So they, they're in a really tough position where we knew that we had to take advantage of that early on and really get the tempo going, get going up and down, you know, because even though that, you know, they're they're a little bit down as far as not playing those games, you know, we got to make sure that we're trying to build momentum into next week. You know, next week is a huge week for us. Three games on the road against good opponents. You know, we had to try to get our momentum going in our favor. So, you know, yeah, it's a tough spot for them. And they definitely wore down in that second half. You could really tell. So hopefully they get their legs back under them. They stay COVID free so they can get going because they're a much better team than they showed tonight. Um, but they were just in a really tough spot and we kind of took advantage of it. Obviously uh, no games on Saturday, but uh, right back at it on Monday as you start a, a busy uh, week on the road uh, here in the GLIAC against Northwood. Yeah, the girls get an extra day off tomorrow. All right, kind of rest those legs up a little bit. We'll be back practicing Saturday and Sunday, but I, I, I can't underestimate or I can't under can't tell you how much next week is important for this team. To go to Northwood, whose conference record, they're like three and five or four and five, but they lost four games by one possession. To go to Saginaw, who who knows where they're going to be, possibly tied for first. And then Wayne State's definitely a revenge game for us. Those are three really big games. If we can put together a good week, we're going to position ourselves really, really well. So it's a, it's a crucial week for us next week. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, congrats on the win. We'll talk to you again on Monday. All right, thanks, Rob.